the letdown? Let's hash it out. Hello, baby bloomers. I'm Ursula back with you today talking about the letdown. But first, let me tell you something super embarrassing. So one time when baby Louie was two or three months old, I really wanted to get some frozen yogurt and I was all by myself with him. I don't think I had taken him out by myself yet. I had always just gone on walks with my mom or Louie or my friends. I was kind of nervous. So I decided that I was gonna take him anyways. I bundled him up in his little wrap and we went to the frozen yogurt place that was right by my house. I don't know why it didn't occur to me that he might want a nurse when we were there, but it didn't occur to me. So when I sat down to eat my frozen yogurt, Guess who wanted a nurse? That's right, baby Louis III wanted a nurse. I lashed him onto the right breast and as I was eating my yogurt and feeling pretty cool because here I am, brand new mom, eating her yogurt and breastfeeding at the same time. Pretty rad. Well, after a few minutes of feeding him, I felt a tingling sensation on my breasts and then I looked down and my left breast had a nice round circle of milk staining my t-shirt. Yeah, because I forgot to wear my breast pad. These guys right here. I've always been so good about wearing them and I don't know why I just wasn't wearing them that day. I don't really get embarrassed by very many things, but that was certainly one of them. That was the letdown. So what happens is that when the baby latches on to your breast and it starts sucking, the nerve endings on a nipple send messages up to the brain that tell your brain that baby wants to eat. So your brain is like, no worries baby, I got you. It releases two hormones, prolactin and oxytocin. Prolactin makes it so your milk glands snatch proteins and nutrients out of your blood and make breast milk. And oxytocin actually makes the milk ducts contract and eject the milk. This is called the milk ejection reflex or the letdown reflex. It feels like the milk is letting down and coming out of your breasts. Some of some common symptoms that women feel during the letdown are pins and needles sensation or the tingling sensation I was telling you about. Some women feel it's painful. I don't think it's painful. Well, you know what, I'll take that back. Sometimes it's painful. I think it just depends on whether or not my breasts are tender, but generally I don't think it's painful. And also you can see some milk coming out of the opposite breast like I did that one fateful day at the yogurt shop. You may also feel thirsty. A lot of women feel thirsty when their milk comes out. And then you also may notice that your baby is sucking on your breast more rhythmically. You know, it's pretty cute. So when you feel that tingling sensation and you think that the letdown is going to happen at a kind of like an awkward moment, remember you could just take the heel of your, of your, hand and press against your nipple and that will usually stop the milk from coming out and hopefully you won't get a stained t-shirt or even better maybe you remember to wear your breast pads some women experience leaking less and less as they go through their breastfeeding journey I still leak a lot so I always wear my breast pads and I never ever forget after that day trust me I don't I want to know from you what was the craziest thing you've craved during your pregnancy let me know in the comment section also if you have any other comments or questions let me know in the comment section as well and if you like this video share with a friend and subscribe here is today's cuteness factor.